Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. And this video is going to be something different from me anyway, something a bit daring. I'm actually going to pull apart the Roland Boutique SEO2 and I'm going to have a look inside. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm very, very wet behind the ears when it comes to electronics. We'll look at what each chip says on the net so I can give you some sort of description about what that is. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be able to identify things like the filter and things like that. But anyway, I'll leave that up to you guys. Leave a comment down below if you notice something in the circuit, like the filter, for example. Um, tell me what time on the video it shows it and, uh, you know, we can have a chat. I have a few ideas that I think I might know what things do. But anyway, anyway, let's get stuck into it. Uh, let's open up this thing. Um, Here's the back of it. You've got to undo um, quite a few screws on the back. Uh, I think there's about uh, eight on the back part here. And then there's another three uh, where all the, the input plugs are on the back. So, all right, let's open it up. Take the front panel off, which is made of metal. And I'll just take the plastic back off. All right, and there she is. On the left is the digital circuit, and on the right is the analog circuit. So why don't we have a close look at both of those circuits, and we'll have a closer look. Okay, so when you're getting the board out, you kind of have to unclick it from, there's like a connector underneath, and then all the switches and things on the back panel need to come out through their holes and then you'll be able to pull it out to see it in all its glory. And there it is. Let's have a close look at the analog board first. All right, so in this part, you'll see the, there's two chips here. There's the 13700 which is an amplifier and you'll also see the TL072C which is an op amp moving right along with the surface mount components there's the 4556A which is another op amp but that one's a high gain op amp according to my uh, records there and here we can see some interesting parts of the circuit. This is where you'll see two LM3046Ms which are uh, transistor arrays and you'll see this part here you'll see these T084s. I don't know what they are but next to it are the uh, CM051Bs and they're an 8 channel multiplexer. You'll see those throughout. Flipping it over more of those T084s which I don't know what they are if you know what they are leave a comment below but here is the big one this is the PIC24 microcontroller 16-bit um, microcontroller low power and um, while we're sort of panning across there we can see some more of those 13700s but a little bit more about that microcontroller it powers the digital envelope it's a sorry it's a digital controller but it powers the envelopes and it has an update rate of about two milliseconds, which apparently is the same as the Model D, which used analog envelopes. Some more of those uh, op amps, high gain, and the uh, the standard op amp there, the TL. Then there's the L393A, um, which is a dual comparative 
voltage uh, comparator. Um, so there's a few of those there. And uh, so you can see quite a few of those. And moving up to here, you'll see there's another op amp next to the volume control. And these are all your CV gate and inputs and output connectors again. To there. Now this these two chips here, the N5532A, they're low noise operational amplifiers. Let's move across now to the digital circuit. I'm not going to show you much or talk about much that's in here other than this connector here, which CN5 is labeled. That actually connects that board to the board below. This here is the famous Roland ESC2 chip. It's a Roland owned chip. Um, it's probably an FPGA or a DSP chip. The whole bunch of stuff there. Let's flip it over and on the back we can see a whole bunch more of the digital componentry. This is just for you guys to have a look at if you know what you're looking at. But that big chip there is a bit of SD RAM. It's a one meg by 16 bit by four banks, if you're wondering. And there's the keyboard connector, nice close up of that. That's what you actually connect your little K25 module keyboard to. That's what it looks like. It's actually mounted directly to the, the circuit board. But there's some nice uh, screw machine screws that connect that to the case so it keeps it all nice and tight. And that's the connector between the two boards there. So that's about it. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the last part here, which is the board below where that connector connects through to. And this is the controller board. So there's not a lot going on here. This is where all your potentiometers and buttons and things connect to. A couple of ICs, a couple of packages there, uh, surface mount, resistors and so forth. And on the other side, another IC. And you can see that that's where all your knobs and buttons and all that is all controlled switches that's all controlled by that board there and it goes back through to the FPGA or DSP processor that we saw on the other board not much inside there it's just literally just surface mount componentry all right, so putting it back together, it's relatively the reverse of taking it apart. Just remember that you have gotta get that little DC plug and the switch in on the digital side of the board. And they gotta sneak in under there. It's a little bit cramped in there. So you gotta wiggle your way in. Once you've done that, you can then um, click that board in using that connector to the board below. And you'll see it just click in just like that and I just want to check to make sure see it's not clicked in just yet I just want to make sure it's all lined up and bang there it goes it's clicked in and then it's just a matter of screwing it all together and so guys I hope you enjoyed that there's the inside of the Roland Boutique SEO2 analog synthesizer I hope you recognize some of the components in there and hopefully that close-up video work um, gets you a good look inside for those thinking about buying it just a couple of uh, things to note is that there is some digital elements obviously on that board obviously the whole controller side of it the knobs and the sequencer and all that's all digital controlled which is standard across the boutique range and also in that analog board there's that PIC controller the PIC 24 which is the the microcontroller, the 16-bit microcontroller, and that's controlling all of the uh, envelopes. Um, I believe there's a little bit of other stuff it does too. I think it does something with the glide circuitry. Um, and But everything else I've been told on there, there's voltage control oscillators. They're actually VCOs. Um, and I noticed that all the chips were actually all specified to run as low voltage so everything's all analog so there's an analog multiplexer for example it's you know it's pretty much analog guys um anyway 
hope you enjoyed it um, i'll catch you guys next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really does help um, also if you can click like or dislike if you want uh, leave a comment below tell me what you loved or didn't love about the video um, or even just tell me what you think of that circuit design i'll catch you in the next one see ya